Hey, this is Lucian McAndrew, and I'm in Bangkok. So first day I ate some pad thai with shrimp and I ate some wok thing with pork, it's pretty awesome. Also bought some whiskey, although that's mainly to keep the stomach in shape, bacteria don't like whiskey. Hey, this is Lucian McAndrew, survived the first night. Just woke up in my little in my girlfriend's room. Gonna have me a little sip of morning whiskey. Not to get drunk or anything, yes, it's good for the stomach and uh, prevents stomach sickness. Ah. Otherwise not my ideal way of starting the morning. Oh well. Uh, Jew is working today, so I will go out for a smoke. I don't know if I dare to do Bangkok alone first day, though. It's I we, we I walked around quite a lot yesterday, and it's fucking traffic. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, over and out. Here's something I found out today: you can't buy beer in the store, at least not at 7-Eleven, before 5 a.m. Oh, I'm so bad at a.m. p.m. Like. Not in the morning, five in, not before five in the evening. So uh, that's some good travel advice for you alcoholics. Here's some more advice. Uh, don't buy like extra internet from your own country on your phone because it took like five seconds after I turned on roaming before that was gone. Instead like go and buy an, a Thai uh, phone card and use that instead. Uh, it's like 300 baht, so like super cheap anyway. I'm also super into Asian television shows now. It, it's basically just guys bitch slapping women and women looking either angry or shocked when it happens. And then some other guy always comes in and sometimes he, he comforts the guy that beat the girl and sometimes he kicks the guy that beats the girl. It's very confusing, but I'm totally into it now. Don't understand anything. Chinatown. Okay, so now I'm at this place where I'm gonna eat a large fucking lobster. You wanna eat that? Yes. Okay. Then I guess we eat that. This is so spicy. <laughs> really good, but super fucking spicy. Yeah, take my shrimp. <laughs> Back at the apartment. Ate some good shit today. It was really hot, so I'm probably gonna regret that tomorrow. But yeah, three awesome meals. Yeah, very pleased. The shrimp was really good. The scallops were even better. Damn hot. Hey, Lucian McAndrew here, third day. Finally hit the fucking monsoon. <laughs> A lot of rain here. Stomach pretty good. I, I'm not destroyed from yesterday, so that's pretty awesome. Just had my morning whiskey. Uh, not gonna go out in this. <laughs> uh, but it uh, shouldn't last all day, so 
what happens. Okay, now I'm out buying street food. I'm gonna buy some satay and then go back to apartment because it's I don't know. Don't feel like being out today. It's too hot. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Didn't we buy three things? Yes. Three things. Okay, I have some street food here, some grilled chicken, barbecue chicken, and some uh, satay. And what is that? Uh, oh. Yum guy. Chicken too. Yes. So yeah, let's eat. I like to eat this. Yeah, let's try this. Very good. Mm. Mm. Very good. Try some satay too. Okay, so fourth day. Where are we, Ju? We are going to wash coal. Okay, I have no idea what that is, but uh, let's find out. Oh, cool. Fish. <laughs> I think that was what they're supposed to do for a tourist, actually. Yes. Yeah, really cool place. Have no idea where I am. Took a motorcycle here. That was scary as hell. <laughs> so yeah. Ended up in this cool little restaurant with you. Side of the river. Don't all you fishers just wish it was like that in Sweden? <laughs> So this is where all the Swedish fish went. Uh, they left Sweden for Thailand. Sorry, Swedish. Sorry, Sweden. <laughs> Back a quickie to the apartment for a little extra sip of whiskey after that uh, ball and penis soup. Uh, I think it was balls and penis at least. Now I've tried that too. Uh, but just to be safe, some whiskey so I don't get sick. Because there was not like no tourist at that place either, so. There's usually a reason for that in a tourist area. So let's hope for the best. <laughs> Over and out again. Now I'm going shopping. Yeah, okay, Ju actually wanted to cross here. I don't see it happening. It sounds like an, off, an awful idea to me, but uh, let's see. <laughs> like a place to walk over there, but uh, you refuse that, so, okay. I'm at Tips Mape. This is supposedly the best Pad Thai in all of Bangkok, so let's try this. It's actually hard way to <laughs> this. Wait.
This is crab all around it too. Excellent. Warmly recommended. One of the few Thai Pad Thai places recommended in the Michelin Guide. So go for it. Good. <laughs> so survived the fourth day. Tried a pig ball and dick soup. <laughs> And uh, ate at one of the best bad Thai places in the world. Yeah, good day, also buy a lot of clothes and a few movies. So, awesome day. Signing out. For some more street food. Some chicken. I actually saw her shop up Not raw. Chicken. Is it pork? Yes. Okay, it's pork. But I also saw her shop raw pork with the same knife. She shopped this pork after. Oh no. <laughs> so, uh, well, we'll see how this goes. Okay, I think we have something super hot here and some pork. And uh, not made under the best hygienic. Situation, but I think I'll be fine here with since I have a lot of whiskey. <laughs> mm, that's hot. Mm. We call gel. Nam Jim gel. Good. Thailand should be hot. Yeah, good stuff. See if it kills me. See you tomorrow. Okay, so this is Juice idea of breakfast. Uh, Try to not get them. Number five or six or something, lost count. Uh, still no food poisoning, so the raw chicken yesterday went, uh, or pork or whatever it was, went pretty well. Uh, but uh, yeah, some uh, traveling advice. I just, uh, re I just learned something here. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but you can't buy beer before five p.m. or a.m. I'm so bad at that. 5 p. Is it a? No, 5 p.m. Yeah, you can't buy beer before 5 p.m. at like 7-Eleven and those big markets. But uh, if you go to those like small Thai shops, they don't seem to give a fuck about that law. Uh, actually, the guys at 7-Eleven actually gave me the advice. And I really like that about Thailand. Like, uh, we're not gonna break the law, but if you wanna break... But these people over there, they break the law, so go there. So, uh, yeah, uh, cheers! Now I've been here for one week, uh, getting used to this sort of breakfast. <laughs> uh, today we are going at a, to a place called J5, which is probably one of the few street kitchens that, ha that has a star in the Michelin Guide. Uh, so that's gonna be really, really interesting. Uh, but right now I'm gonna watch uh, Jurassic Park 1 and eat some chicken and drink some Changbe. So, yeah.